if any of my old scout leaders are watching this, they're probably shaking their head. How did he forget? Yeah. <laughs> What's up everybody, Chase here. Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, this is a, a different setting than any kind of video I've done before. Um, but I figured I'd do this for kind of, you know, some current events or some issues that are in the news and bring on friends who I'll introduce in a moment, or a friend who I'll introduce in a moment, uh, who might be passionate or an expert on a, a certain topic and just see where it goes. So if you guys like this video and you like this format, uh, leave a comment below and maybe I'll keep doing it. But uh, for now, uh, we're gonna be talking about the recent rule change in the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts recently announced that they were going to accept girls into the Boy Scouts. And so the reason why I'm passionate about this topic and uh, Carl here, who you'll meet in just a second, uh, is because in case you didn't know, I was in Boy Scouts and I'm actually an Eagle Scout. And so it's something that hits home to me and something that I want to share my opinion on. And let me introduce Carl. This is Carl, is it Nielsen or Nielsen? Mm, Nielsen. Okay. Nielsen. Yeah. You know, sometimes they put the L in and it's like a yeah. silent L and you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Carl's a good friend of mine here from uh, here in Dallas. And so um, he's also an Eagle Scout. And so we're just going to share our thoughts on the issue. We don't speak on behalf of the Boy Scouts or anything like that. And we'll just see where this conversation goes. So, uh, Carl, if you want to start just sharing your experience in Boy Scouts and what it meant to you and some things you did. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, I attained the rank of Eagle um, in the spring of 2007, so it's like just over 10 years ago. Yeah. And, time's uh, fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite a long time ago, but I, I definitely learned a lot from my experience. Um, and I was in a troop in Gig Harbor, Washington, Troop 212. Uh, it was one of the largest troops in the area, and I had a really good experience, um, great leaders, uh, and my brother was also in the troop, and he's younger than me, so he also attained his eagle um, after, after me, um, and we're both third generation Eagle Scouts, so my grandfather is an Eagle Scout, yeah. and my father is an Eagle Scout. Awesome. So, yeah, it kind of runs in the family, and um, we've been involved cool. quite a lot, so, awesome. yeah. Well, um, I, you know, as you guys know, and you know, I'm from Ohio, um, so I grew up in, actually I went through, uh, I mean, I think two, no, three different troops, troop 169, 275, and 308, so a bunch of different ones, and they were all great, nothing bad to say about any of them, um, but I love Boy Scouts. I actually was more um, involved with Order of the Arrow than I was with Boy Scouts after um, actually, I didn't get my Eagle Scout till a few days before I turned 18. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. my uh, Eagle Scout Court of Honor was like six months after I was 18. Yeah, that happened to a lot of guys in our troop. Yeah. Yeah. I think part of it was I was just so invested in um, Order of the Arrow, and I was mm -hmm. the Lodge Chief for um, for Marnock Lodge. Shout out to Marnock Lodge. But yeah, I loved it, man. Just uh, all the all the camping trips and uh, even merit badges. And what was your yeah. favorite merit badge you got? Oh gosh, archery was really fun. Archery, yeah, yeah. I loved doing archery. Um, and then I got like thirty plus merit badges. Yeah. I can't remember them all, but um, yeah. fun fact about the archery badge. So I was doing that one in a barn, and there was yeah. a window at the top of the barn. I don't know if I told you this before. No. My very first time ever shooting a bow and arrow, shot it right through the window. <laughs> so uh, I'm surprised they actually gave me the badge. But yeah. Wow. <laughs> but it was good. So the reason you clicked on this video wasn't just to hear us reminisce about Boy Scouts. Um, we want to share our thoughts on the, um, the recent decision. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, and you can add anything if you want, if, you, uh, if I'm skipping over something, but basically the uh, Boy Scouts said that they're now going to let girls into Boy Scouts, but also let girls reach the rank of Eagle Scout. You read the official Boy Scout statement. Well, it was on the Cub Scout website, so right. I don't know if the Boy Scouts were associated with that. No. But it was on the Cub Scout website, um, and it sounded like being associated with Boy Scouts as well. So. Okay. I actually read the Girl Scouts' official statement, their response, and uh, they weren't too happy. The Girl Scouts weren't. So I actually didn't ask Carl before because I'm hoping that this will just be more of a natural conversation. So I don't know where yeah. he stands on it. You might <laughs> Not know sure where, where I stand either. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess you want to give your thoughts? Yeah, sure. Um, so... There's, I can see a lot of positives and negatives to this decision. Um, I think that both organizations have a similar mission, which is to provide um, uh, leadership skills and team building and problem solving skills for both young men and women. But I, I think um, that 
with, with the Boy Scouts, the rank of Eagle. It's a very special rank and it's um, something that's very well known around the world, especially here in America, and a lot of famous people from all walks of life have attained the rank of Eagle, a lot of presidents have, and that opportunity isn't really talked about much for um, young girls to get a rank of that quality, of that well-known stature. Um, so the opportunity to open this up to uh, young girls um, is very intriguing and I think it's a great opportunity to think about how we can incorporate uh, young girls into a program that um, offers as much as the Boy Scouts do. No, so. I think you're, you're right. Um, so my cousin was very involved in Girl Scouts. She reached the highest rank, I think it's called the Gold Award. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so I mean the fact that I, I can't remember exactly what it's called doesn't diminish that award at all, but um, I think it shows that it's not held to the same um, level of recognition, I guess, as Eagle Scout. So I totally right. get where you're coming from from there that yeah. uh, the Girl Scouts don't have as high of a rank. I guess for myself, let me say the positives and my hesitations. All right, and for me, there's more in the hesitation column, but I do see a couple positives. One being able to earn a rank that has such a level of prestige, like you were saying. Also, there's a lot of girls who might be more involved in, or might be more interested in sort of outdoors-ish uh, type stuff. Right. Um, outdoorsy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one thing when I was talking to Amanda, who enjoyed Girl Scouts, um, she said that most of it was crafts and, um, you know, cooking and all that, and that's great. But there are some girls who might want to do some things that are more outside, so I can kind of get why they would want to... Um, be part of something that's more outdoorsy. Right. But I think there's something about, you know, especially through those ages, you know, you have puberty and there's all the awkward stuff that happens when you're a right. teenager and, and what's before teenager? Yes. Just boy. Just boy, boy. preteen and, and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think that once you mix gender, when, when you have uh, gender specific groups, mm -hmm. boys specifically, it might be different with girls. I'm not a girl, so I don't know, are able to just act more yourself. Right. Whereas um, with girls, then it's just, you know, it, the dynamics yeah. change. You go from just trying to hang out, have fun with the guys, to you're trying to impress girls. And, and I don't know. Right. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, that was something that came up for sure. As I was, because I heard about this whole thing from a friend of mine on Facebook who posted about it. And then a lot of other people were posting comments on that original post, which was the article that I read that the Cub Scouts uh, came out with to announce the whole thing. And that was a concern, which is that if they did have mixed gender troops, it's it's definitely going to be change the dynamics in terms of how boys are going to experience the Boy Scouts. Um, because obviously we we were in the Scouts when um, the only girls and women we saw were our mothers or our yeah. sisters. Um, and Let me so, jump in real quick right there. Yeah, I think that's that's true, and there are a lot of helpful mothers who have helped. In the truth, but I think also, uh, did you ever do anything with venture? No. Okay. I'm... Yeah. So um, the venture opportunities, which I do think you had to be 14, or there was an age limit. I can't remember what the age limit is or was, uh, but that, in my opinion, kind of added that extra um, sense of outgoing and adventure for girls who might have been seeking that. Mm -hmm. So I think they were able to partake in that. I can't remember exactly everything they did. Yeah. I just remember hearing about it. I was never really involved. Yeah. If any of my old scout leaders are watching this, they're probably shaking their head. How did he forget? Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> no. But um but I thought the the venture crew kind of offered that to girls who might have been looking for it, who wanted to do more, you know, whitewater rafting and scuba diving. So to me I thought that was covered. But I guess as a whole um, I would say that I disagree with the rule change and I think that the Girl Scouts and, I, you know, I talked to Amanda about her experience with Girl Scouts. She liked it. But I think that the Girl Scouts should offer some more high adventure type stuff as well as th those opportunities for girls who might want to do more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and again, I don't know as much about the Girl Scouts, but it seems to me that um, if we've gotten to the point now where the Boy Scouts are willing to bring into the fold uh, girls, um, then it seems like on the part of the Girl Scouts, um, there's been, there's something lacking there that a lot of girls want to experience that the Boy Scouts have to offer. Yeah. You know, and, um, but again, I get the concern about 
mixing genders and troops um, because it's going to be a distraction for boys, like no matter what, and for girls as well. I will say that the Girl Scouts cookies are way better than Boy Scout popcorn. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so they got us yeah. beat there already. Yeah, for definitely. Sure. And beyond that, like that's <laughs> all I really know about the Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. But I learned so much more than just those things. Right. Like what, just having these qualities that are in the Scout Law. And yeah, and, and you mentioned um, the qualities. Um, I'll scroll those across the bottom of the screen right now. Uh, but I, th I think part of the thing that I enjoyed so much about Boy Scouts is those qualities taught me how to be the man that I am. You know, like camping and archery and all that stuff was awesome. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's secondary to what the purpose of Boy Scouts is, which is to teach you how to be a man. And I'm not saying those qualities are gender specific, like, you know, girls can be trustworthy and loyal yeah, and, and, all, and all those. Yeah. But a society where men have all of those values is a society that functions better than when they don't, mm -hmm. you know? And so is the purpose of Boy Scouts to teach the people how to be men or is it just to teach you how to be better functioning adults? Because mm -hmm. if their purpose is just to teach you how to be a better functioning adult, then why not just call it Scouts? Yeah. And I, I know exactly. some other countries do that. If it's supposed to be teaching boys how to become men, if that's the primary goal, then I don't see why you would let girls in. No. Yeah, um, and I think depending on how they go about this, they could still fulfill that if they are really including girls into all these programs. Um, something that the article that I read posted by the Cub Scouts was that they were exploring ways of how they can allow um, girls to earn the rank of Eagle Scout, mm -hmm. um, which just saying that sounds really cool, um, just to have to be able to you said the Girl Scouts were exploring ways? No, the, 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 uh, yeah, the yeah. Uh, Boy Scouts. Yeah. yeah. Um, but to be able to, like, for example, um, one of my favorite things to put on my resume and to talk about in job applications or um, in any type of thing that I might be applying for or pursuing is, my, is the rank of Eagle Scout, the fact that I'm an Eagle Scout. And that can get you really far. It can kind of um, jumpstart you in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, just playing off of what he said... And that's how you said, I am an Eagle Scout, not I was an Eagle Scout. And yeah. that's something that right. we carry with us. Yeah. Um, what would you think, and not that either of us have any sort of influential power in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, but do you think possibly a better alternative could have been if the girls, if the Girl Scouts could obtain the rank of Eagle in Girl Scouts? So, you know, this would I mean, just that, say Girl Scouts, Eagle Scout. That yeah. would be an option. I mean, um, if they're going in the direction they are, um, it is... It is exciting to think about, um, but at this point, if, if everything that the Boy Scouts has to offer is going to be offered to girls, like you said, it's not really going to be Boy Scouts anymore, it's just going to be scouting, which is fine. Like, I think that, um, that everything scouting has to, Boy Scouting has to offer um, can definitely be extended to girls, whether that's um, within the Girl Scouts or um, bringing into the fold. Um, girls into Boy Scouts. I wish there was more unity between the two. Mm -hmm. Like before I met Amanda, and like I said, my cousin it was in Girl Scouts even though she's a lot younger than I was. But before talking to Amanda about Girl Scouts, I had no idea what, what went on. You know, yeah. I knew they sold Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. And so I almost wish there was a more, more of a unity between the two as opposed to what seems like rivalry almost. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I totally get your point though about girls wanting to... Uh, Girls being able to achieve a rank that's as highly recognized as Eagle Scout. Yeah. So, I don't know where it's going to end up going. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm probably 85% in the in the against it category. I think the whole structure should be fixed instead of what they did. And then you're kind of on the fence, kind of seeing benefits from both. Is that what you're saying? Or Well, I'm not saying I'd support it or yeah. not. But I, I would say that like it just depends on how they go about this. Right. And while respecting the Girl Scouts of America, um, because that is a huge, respect is a huge part of the Boy Scouts, yeah. and to do that to the Girl Scouts, I don't think it's fair. Well, those are our thoughts on the issue. Um, we'd love to hear yours. You know, I don't want this just to be a two-person conversation, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are as well. So leave a comment in the comment section below. I think we'll end it on a lighter note. What was your favorite Boy Scout memory? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, well, I, I had a couple, really long outings. Um, we did a 50 mile hike um, up in Washington. We did uh, two 50 mile 
uh, bike rides oh, that were it, even it was even longer than that, but um, it, it was up in the San Juan Islands. Um, that was really fun. Uh, those were some of my favorite memories for sure. So I was really blessed with a great troop. Awesome. I'd have to say my favorite was uh, just Order of the Arrow, all the ceremonies we did. You know, we had a lot of, were you in OA? No. Okay. Yeah, so there were ceremonies. I'm not allowed to talk about them. But <laughs> <laughs> no, they, uh, they were pretty pretty cool and just hanging out with a lot of the other people that were in the, um, the ceremony. But I think my favorite, if I had to pick just one memory, um, I was involved, it was called National Youth Leadership Training. And uh, it was put on by the Boy Scouts and I was, I was part of that. And we came up with this campfire horror story of this boy scout called Jim Van Note was his name. I don't know why I'll always remember it, but just those kind of memories. That's uh, one of my favorite thing about, about boy scouts. But Carl, thank you. I guess I should shake your hand, make yeah. it official. Yeah. Thank you for uh, being on the first episode of whatever this is called. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. If you guys liked it, uh, just tell me you like this and you know, I'll make some more uh, videos like this. If you hated it, tell me that too and then I'll never make another. <laughs> But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm hoping we get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're at about 850. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're watching it. And uh, I'll see you on another video. See you guys.